Welcome back everyone, this is Where is Boar playing Rogue Tower. Uh, this is the game that has been circulating on YouTube. Uh, it's a game that I've also been wanting to play because it's a tower defense game. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and do a single defense. Now, I, I haven't played this. Uh, I've seen people play it. Uh, but I personally have not. So this is a tower defense game with RPG uh, elements where you do get level ups and skills with it. And the whole entire purpose is this is where we are. We are the tower. We would place down our, our turrets, our towers, whatever you want to call them. Let's go ahead, place down a couple of towers. We can place down... Looks like quite a bit of a ballista. And... Go ahead and expand. So every time we expand, we get... A enemy that comes in. And that and that's how you progress with the turn, right? Is that you're building your map as it goes out. Now, one thing we did get to is this... Uh, house here what this house does is that as long as i'm protecting it by towers i get more gold per turn so i would place this down All right so three towers i think maybe because this one's on a uh on a hill it's not counting it but we'll start and then now we start with gold So we got this mana crystal, and for this crystal, you have to get unlock a tower called a mana. Siphon. And when we place a mana siphon next to it, we regen mana per second. And some of the towers use mana. I know that much. One thing I, I want to see is how far I can get with just the default tower, with just a ballista. Alright, so right here, the path has started uh, splitting, so we are now going to get more goblins coming in. Or just more enemies. Uh, the ones we're fighting right now is for goblins. But not necessarily more goblins, just more enemies as they come in. We also got a house. I, I am going to surround that slowly here. One thing that could be helpful is getting rid of this tower. Okay, so we had a couple... Um, not very ideal. Now, which path do we want to... Oh. All right. So that was it for that run there. But we should be able to get some upgrades. And we have 112 upgrades and get some more here. So I'm thinking get the card draw one, the gold drop so we get more gold. Begin with a bit more gold there. Now we have 52. And you let me zoom in. Actually, read it here. So we're gonna lock the towers. Uh, I want to test the ballista, so I can get a better idea on how the game functions. And there's a lot of skill points. Uh, there's a lot and a lot. 
as you can see here. So I'm not getting anything else, primarily because I can't afford it. Uh, that's my next upgrade that I would want to get is 100. We now start with a house here. Go ahead, expand outward. And we'll be getting gold from there. We started with more gold too, which is going to be great. I'm going to place a couple more on these. Just so that way we get full leverage. Now what the plus one, plus two, plus three, uh, so forth is doing is that it's an increased damage and range. Uh, so by placing it on my towers, my ballistas can do damage and they have a further fight. Uh, heavy shafts, broadhead bolts, and enhance. Right now we're currently dealing with health. Alright. We have another house here. Let's go ahead and surround it. That way we get a bit more gold. Alright, we're going to want the heavy shafts because we're dealing with armor. Uh, let's go ahead and expand. That, that'll give us enough gold there. Put that there. Prioritize it so that it focuses on armor. This map is actually pretty generous, uh, it has not split off at all, uh, which is a bit, uh, peculiar, to say the least. Okay, we're gonna make it so that our ballistas do bleed damage, so we have a little bit of DOT damage over time. Uh, there. Perhaps do have a split. This is a very generous map, I gotta say. One thing, too, is that if you are just tuning in, and, may <laughs> and maybe you are looking for a video, uh, to play this game, uh, don't recommend this. Uh, try to do more things than just... Ballistas. Ballistas aren't terrible by any means. There are just better towers. Uh, primarily because the way the game works is that you have body, you have armor, you have shield. Uh, and they sit on top of one another. Shield sits on top of armor, armor sits on top of health. I Meaning you can't hit health unless you uh, break down the armor. You can't break down armor until you break down the shield. Uh, so forth. Uh, ballistas aren't exceptional at taking down any of those. Uh, that's not to say you can't upgrade it, it just takes money to upgrade it to do something that a tower will be better suited for. Right? Like, I think uh, the mortar is better at taking down armor than a ballista. So, by, any me by all means, it's not impossible. Just, there are better ways of doing it. So with the DOT, uh, when we fire our our ballista now, uh, we are actually causing the goblins to bleed, and that causes them to do to take a little bit more damage. Uh, how effective is it? Let's see if this is something we can find out. Uh, it's done 2k in about two stages, so I mean it's not terrible. Uh, if we had upgrades that increase the damage uh, uh, the bleed does, it would be better. Place down another list of there. Okay. 
but so far not doing too shabby in my opinion. I can actually place down another ballista here. So okay. I don't think I have a way to pause, do I? I guess I can do this. Not not, not the pause I, I was looking for. But do you guys see this? Uh, this is a new type of enemy. It is a... Uh, basically, they, they give us a Trojan horse. Uh, once we break it, uh, more goblins should pop out. Uh, which means that this could probably be the round that ended for this uh, match here. Yeah, it would just ultimately depend on how quickly we can bring those down. Which, the way that it's going, it's not too quick. Uh, I do need to work on my priorities. My priorities. Priorities. How I, how I prioritize things uh, with these towers. I also need uh, other towers. Uh, but I really just want to do a ballista and see how well the ballista does. Uh, yeah, see? So we broke that uh, log there, and goblins came out. They gave birth. That's pretty shabby. The log is, is already at about half health by the time it gets here. Uh, actually way less than half. Uh, we, I can get more ballista. Yeah, so that def that upgrade definitely helped. It definitely uh, made it so that we can clear uh, quicker here. Expand. Yep. Go ahead. Add another bullet there. So the path just started diverging. But I think we are in a position where it's not too big of a concern. Maybe. Hopefully. Also, uh, one thing that, while I'm thinking about it, the way the health works is that per turn, for each tower, you get the amount of gold that you would for the stage you're entering in. So next next round, we're entering level 15. Each of these towers would give me 15. All right, so you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 times 15 houses of uh, gold next round all right so we got our first boss his name is oogie this guy right here uh we'll see if we'll be able to clear him Gonna be close, I think. Okay, so Ugi's now the only one left. I think we are in a good spot. Uh, at least I hope so. Uh, <laughs> if we're not, I don't know what to say about that. I'm gonna change these priorities at the front to the most help. Get him! Get him! Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, we're getting ready for shield damage. Okay. And we can place down more towers, too. So we definitely have new enemies. Uh, I think we now have zombies, something like that. 
Yeah, the shield is going to be a problem. Even with the upgrades we did get, uh, not enough to bring down the shield. But, anyways guys, with that, let me, let me know what you guys think uh, of Rogue Tower in the comments. Feel free to hit the like button, helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you really want it to be helpful, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have or had a wonderful day. Thank you.